Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to lock down Firefox after installing it to make it more private and secure. We will configure each option inside of Firefox and ensure that you're surfing with a more secure browser. We don't want intruders taking advantage of loose ends that could leak data. Let's begin. First, load up Chrome or Edge and in the browser you're going to type in Firefox. You're going to click the link Download Firefox. And from here, you're going to see this screen. You're going to click Download Now. Now, I already have Firefox installed, so I'm just going to skip that part. And we're going to go right to the options. You click Tools, Options, and you're going to see a screen like this. This is where we're going to begin. So first, we're going to set Firefox to the default browser. We're going to show Home Page as Mozilla Firefox Start Page, or you can set it to whatever you like. Afterwards, under tabs, we're going to check off open links in tabs instead of new windows. We're also going to turn on when you open a new link in a new tab, switch to it immediately. This is more for convenience, but you can set these options to whatever you like. Scroll down even further. And under files and applications, you're going to immediately change save files to desktop, you're going to say always ask you where to save the files. This way it gives you the control every time you click a link while you're surfing that it will not automatically download a file to your desktop or to your computer unless it asks you. Scroll down a little bit more and under applications this is where we're going to change every option to always ask. This gives you the control over any file that tries to run, it's always going to ask you. Some of them you can't change to always ask, so you just leave as preview in Firefox. When you're done this, you're going to scroll down a little bit more. We're going to ensure Firefox updates are up to date. If you just downloaded it, then it will be the latest but you're going to make sure that you check off automatically install updates so this allows Firefox to update automatically in the background and then you don't have to keep track of it then we're going to say use a background service to install the updates and automatically update search engines turn those both on scroll down a little bit further and you're going to see a section called network proxy click settings under this option if you don't know what this is, select No Proxy and click OK. After you're done all that, you're going to click Search. And the first option you're going to use is Search Bar. Use the address bar for the search and navigation. Or you can select the second option, which separates the two. If you like to have your search your search bar to do all the searching for you, just select the first one. Next, under default search engine, you're going to select provide search suggestions and show search suggestions in address bar results. Next, you're going to have a list of search engines here. What you're going to want to do is remove all of them except for the ones that you want. That will be your default search engine every time you do a search within, within the address bar, which would be like this. You'll see searches. After you're done there, we're going to go back to privacy and security. And here we're going to configure browser privacy. Forms and passwords, you're going to uncheck remember logins and passwords for websites. We don't want them remembering anything that we do while we surf or any logins that we surf to or that we try to log into. We don't want use master password. Then you're going to scroll down under history. And here you're going to change Firefox will use custom settings for history. You can also set it to never remember history, but this makes the browser less usable. Uh, and I usually encounter problems, so my recommendation is to keep it custom. Once you have custom set, 
you're going to uncheck always use private browsing mode. Now you can turn this on if you like. Uh, it makes it even more safe. But uh, I've also encountered problems when you have this checked on all the time. Then you're going to uncheck remember my browsing and download history. You're going to keep remember search and form history. And you're going to turn on accept cookies from websites that I visit. Then you're going to keep until I close Firefox. So when you close Firefox, your cookies will be deleted and your browsing history will also be deleted. Afterwards, you're going to clear history when Firefox closes. Turn that on. When you do that, you're going to click settings and you're going to make sure each box is turned on and click OK. Scroll down and under address bar, you're going to say open tabs. Scroll down even further and under site data, you're going to click settings. And you're going to make sure that nothing is in here. You can remove and save or you can, you can leave the ones that you know of. Scroll down even further. Under tracking protection, you're going to say only in private windows. You can turn it to always if you like. Uh, my suggestion is if you're going to go completely private, keep it in the private windows and then activate a stealth mode with Firefox. Scroll down even further. Under send websites a do not track signal that you do not want to be tracked. I set this to always. Then scroll down and you're going to come to permissions. Under location, you're going to check here and you're going to make sure that no requests are asking you for your location. No websites. You can also turn on block new requests when asking when asking to access your location. Then camera, same thing. Microphone, remove and block. Notifications, block. Then you turn then you un make sure that pause notifications until Firefox restarts. Make sure that's unchecked. I don't advise turning on block pop-up because there's a lot of websites out there that will not function and this can get really annoying. If you want uh, more security, turn it on, but just make sure that when you have that on and you're surfing to keep an eye on the corner here, you'll see pop-up notifications for certain websites and they may not function and you'll have to, you'll have to turn them on as you go. Turn on warn you when websites try to install add-ons and then make sure that there are no exceptions other than the two that you see uh, defaulted by Mozilla Firefox. Then you're going to make sure prevent accessibility service from accessing your browser. Now you can turn this on. Uh, it, it'll generally provide more security but you don't need it. Firefox data collection and use. So here's where we want to keep our privacy. We don't want to allow Firefox to install and run studies, and we don't want to allow Firefox to send crash reports to Mozilla. We also don't want to allow Firefox to send technical and interaction data to Mozilla. Now you can keep these on if you want to help them out. My advice is to keep them off. We don't need to send them anything. They know how to fix their problems. Next, you go to security, deceptive content, and dangerous software protection. We're going to turn all three options on. And when you're done there, we're going to go down to certificates and say ask you every time. After you've done that, go to Firefox account. And under here, you can create an account and you can synchronize these new settings that you've just done to your Androids, your iOSs or your other laptops or other PCs on your network. And that way, anywhere you go, when you sign in, you'll have exactly what you configured across all your Firefox accounts and all your Firefox profiles. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, comment below, and consider subscribing for future videos. Thanks, and take care.